Hey guys, and welcome to the video. Today, I will be doing another viewer requested video. If you have an idea that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments, and it might just become a video in the future. And thank you to no one for today's idea. So in order to defeat Empress of Light pre-Golem, you want to make sure that you have the best gear available to you at this stage in the game. I would recommend a Ranger build, because let's be honest, Ranger is OP. Probably the best weapon that you could use for this fight is the Tsunami. If you're interested in some tips on defeating Duke Fishron early in hard mode, you can go check out my video from a few days ago where I defeated him pre-Mech Boss. And staying on the topic of Duke, I would also recommend using the Fishron Wings, as they're very fast and will help a ton with dodging in this fight. Moving down the list of accessories, make sure that you have Lightning Boots or one of its upgrades for the increased speed, as well as some form of dash. I chose the Tabby for my fight. I would also recommend either the Cobalt Shield or Onk Shield for the knockback immunity. And then to fill out your last few slots, a Moonstone would be very useful. I would also recommend an Avengers Emblem or Ranger Emblem for the increased damage. And finally, a Stalker's Quiver for the arrow damage and velocity boost. For armor, I would highly recommend Shroomite, but you could also use Chlorophyte or Hollowed Armor if you don't feel like farming glowing mushrooms. Moving on to consumables, I chose to use Venom Arrows, as they're easy to craft and have a high base damage, but you could also use Icker Arrows. For buffs, I used Exquisitely Stuffed, Swiftness, Iron Skin, Wrath, Rage, Endurance, Life Force, and Archery. Once you're geared up, the next step is going to be building an arena. Now because we are fighting Empress of Light in Master Mode, she will always use her enraged attack patterns no matter the biome or time of day, so the arena that you build does not have to necessarily be in the hollow, however I would recommend building it near one so that it's easier to spawn her. Now the best shape for the arena that I found was a long strip of asphalt with a few layers of platforms above it, and once you have that, it's a good idea to place campfires, heart lanterns, and any other placeable buffs that you you like to use. Once you have all this done, your arena is ready for the fight, so now it's time to talk about strategy. The Empress of Light has a set attack cycle, where she will always dash at the player in between her different attacks. The best way that I found to dodge her is running along the bottom layer of asphalt for her attacks. Then when she goes to dash at you, fly up and dash in the opposite direction towards her before quickly returning back down to the bottom asphalt layer. This works for almost all of her attacks. The one attack, however, that you need to worry about is the swords that she will spawn. For this attack, I would recommend flying in a circle away from the swords so that you stay ahead of their trajectories. And in her second phase, when she spawns the large walls of swords, fly towards where she spawned them and try and get through them before they launch. This is because they don't actually deal damage before they start moving, so if you can get to the other side of them quick enough, you'll be safe. Now I will say that this boss can be intimidating at first, but after you get the hang of her attack pattern, it actually becomes a very predictable and manageable boss fight. Like I said in my Duke Fisheron guide, the most important thing in this boss fight is to not get discouraged. With enough practice, you will learn the fight and be able to win consistently. I hope this video was helpful to you in one way or another, and if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to keep up to date with more like it in the future. But with that out of the way, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.